pre-construction community meeting uh, for Safe Routes to School Improvements Project for the Daggett Elementary School. Uh, city project number is 102403 in Council District 9. Uh, my name is Brennan McInnes. I am the project manager. Um, my contact information is on here. Um, it's brendan.mckinnis at fortworthtexas.gov. The project engineer is Kim Lee Horn, as well as the contractor is Urban Infrastructure Construction. I uh, just want to take a, a moment for some brief introductions of, um, I don't see um, council member back on, uh, so we can start with uh, the city staff. Um, Lissette, do you want to start off? Absolutely. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. So you can find out about improvements coming through your neighborhood. My name is Lisette Acevedo. I'm the program manager of the mobility infrastructure group, which handles projects of this nature of sidewalk construction. So we're really excited about finally taking this project into construction. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Jeff. Sure, I'm uh, Jeff Allen. I'm actually communications for the Department of Transportation, so I assist with meetings and uh, try to get you uh, all the information you need on projects uh, with the website uh, and various other things. Uh, Chad? Hi, this is Chad Allen. I'm a project manager in Lissette's group. I'm working on um, one of the other Safe Rest of School projects. We also have um, Matt Kane. Um, he'll be the um, inspector for the project, as well as uh, Scott Arnold. He is the design engineer. And um, I think uh, Yagi um, Yagu uh, is on for the contractor. Uh, Yagu, yeah. I'm from Urban and South Construction. I'll be the project engineer from Urban. Thank you, sir. Uh, the purpose of this meeting tonight is to pro provide information about the construction of the Safe Routes to School project in the Dal Daggett Elementary area. The meeting will include information on the project limits, the project scope, the typical construction process, project phasing and traffic control, as well as the project schedule and notifications. And at the end of the um, presentation, if you put your questions in chat, we'll try to go through um, those questions, as well as um, opening up the mic and um, taking questions uh, for any call-in users or anybody else. On the screen, um, you'll see the um, general project limits in red. Um, this map represents the general area that you will see construction activities in um, for the project. And we'll get into some more project specific um, areas here. Uh, the project area um, will include the following streets. Uh, these streets are listed in the current projected construction sequence order. Uh, West Robert Street, South Adams Street, Ryan Place, Elizabeth Boulevard, Page Avenue, Lipscomb Street, Jessamine Street, Fifth Avenue, College Avenue, Hemp Hill Street, and Lilac Street. In the map over on the right, the light blue um, cyan um, lines are um, existing sidewalks and the yellow lines are proposed sidewalks or um, some areas sidewalk replacements. So I blow up of the areas so we can discuss um, these and let y'all see them a little bit better. Um, on the Northeast side of the project, um, the work areas are for uh, on Jessamine would be from Fifth Avenue to College Avenue. The sidewalk for most of Jessamine Street will be on the south side of Jessamine with one section on the north side. 
as well as um, Lilac Street would be the intersection of Lilac and College Avenue, replacing a little bit of sidewalk there, as well as curb ramps um, at that corner. Moving into the Northwest project area, we'll be doing uh, Jessamine Street um, from Lipscomb or from College Avenue to Hemp Hill Street on the north side, as well as the intersection of Hemp Hill and Jessamine. And Lilac Street will be um, putting sidewalk from College Ave or College Avenue to Hemp Hill Street on the south side including intersection ramps at Alston Avenue and Lipscomb Street. In the southwest corner, we'll be placing sidewalk on Ryan Place from Jessamine Street to West Roberts Street. Uh, from West Roberts Street to Elizabeth Boulevard, the sidewalk will be on the east side of the road. And from Elizabeth Boulevard to Jessamine Street, the sidewalk will be placed on both sides of the road. Along Elizabeth Boulevard, we'll be uh, placing sidewalks and ramps at the intersections of Ryan Place, South Adams Street, and College Avenue. And along West Roberts Street, we'll be placing sidewalks in the intersection of South Adams and West Roberts, as well as sidewalk on the north side of West Roberts from Adams Street to College Avenue. And in the southeast uh, corner of the project, uh, we'll be placing sidewalk on Page Avenue from College Avenue uh, towards Hemp Hill. A majority of that sidewalk will be um, at Lipscomb towards Hemp Hill Street as well as Lipscomb Street from Page south on Lipscomb until the bend near the railroad track. The project scope is approximately a quarter mile radius from each school. We will be placing new sidewalk, driveway approach reconstruction, curb ramps, replacement of non-compliant sidewalks, as well as signs and pavement markings, including crosswalks. Typical construction pro process, there'll be a notification phase where the contractor will put out message boards, as well as door hangers and project signs. We'll implement the traffic control in the area of work. We'll set up erosion control um, for any inlets or anything in the area. They'll do the, their required site clearing, adjust any underground utility work and adjustments, driveway removals and replacements. Uh, this is typically the driveway approach towards the right-of-way line. We'll um, then construct ADA ramps and the sidewalks in the area following closely behind with landscaping and sodding of the disturbed areas. And then we'll be removing the traffic control and cleaning up um, that area. Typically, we will be um, doing this um, street by street and kind of progressing as we go and cleaning up as we go. Um, during the period of the driveway approach work, um, there will be no access to driveways during that period of time while they will um, completely remove and replace that section of driveway. Um, this is typically around a seven day process for removal and replacement to get the required concrete strength breaks to be able to return access um, to the driveway. These are a few pictures of some of that typical construction that you'll um, see in the field. On the picture on the left is a driveway replacement. So this will typically be the first thing we do is um, replace the driveway approaches to the limits of construction. And then they'll tie in the sidewalk, which is the picture on the left 
or the right, tying that sidewalk into that driveway to make sure it's ADA compliant. And these are a few pictures of the finished products after the sod's been um, and the landscaping has been replaced of those um, same driveways on the right as those previous driveways. And the picture on the left is showing a driveway that's constructed up against the back of curb um, with the sidewalk versus right, which is offset. Uh, a little bit about the historical resource um, resource protection. Um, we do have um, plans um, to maintain the historical resources. Uh, these include curb names, the entrance gates, uh, street lights, hitching posts, uh, fences and walls. I have a few uh, pictures on the right of those items. Um, this is not all inclusive. Um, but there is a plan to protect all the historical resources uh, in the area. And if you need more on the historical resource protection, we have added that document to the city's website um, that can be accessed um, with the link at the um, back of the presentation. Uh, project schedule and notification. This project is estimated to start in late April to early May. It will have a duration of 240 calendar days with an estimated completion of February of 2023. Work hours will be from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday, 7.30 to 8.30 and 3.30 to 4.30. Closures are prohibited immediately adjacent to school uh, when it's in session as well as 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. they're allowed to work um, if requested in writing and approved for the weekends. Uh, project notification, uh, prior to the contractor starting work, uh, they will be placing um, project signs um, in the areas, as well as putting door hangers on the residents and businesses seven days before construction. We're going to try to keep these closer to the uh, date that your street will be impacted to make sure you're aware of it right before construction comes. And as a reminder, uh, the schedule could be affected by any unforeseen events such as utility conflicts or weather. Um, at this time, um, I'd like to open it up to any um, questions that you might have. And could you go ahead and talk about the trees since that question has already been put into the chat? So, Brendan, there is a question in the chat box, box about trees. The question is, last time they did work like this, they killed the old growth parkway trees. What assurances do we have this will not happen again? Uh, in the plans, um, we do call out to have um, active tree protection, and we will have the city forester review um, areas where we're close to trees um, to make sure they're protected properly before construction begins. Um, there are some trees um, in the project that do um, get removed, and those have been called out in the plans. So, and those will be looked at with the forester as well prior to removal. Where are those plans? Uh, the plans will be on the city's um, website, um, fortworthtexas.gov slash projects slash CFW dash SRTS Daggett McRae. Uh, uh, will the tree protection be similar to what was in Ryan? I drove through Ryan today or yesterday and took pictures. Will it be similar to that? I would have to. I'm willing. I'd have to look exactly um, what they have set up, um, but I it's typically um, it's like a fence of wood pickets around the tree. 
this was that temporary plastic fence, but it was done well. We're just scarred here in Fairmount because they killed like six blocks of trees the last time they did sidewalk and street work. Um, I will have to look at um, the plans to see the exact protection method to see if it matches Ryan place, but it is the city standard for tree protection. Okay, I'm not shy. I will email you. That is perfectly acceptable and I okay. will answer back. <laughs> and then um, for people on the phone, um, if you do have a question, um, my contact information um, is brendan.mckinnis at fortworthtexas.gov. That's B-R-E-N-D-A-N dot M-C-I-N-N-E-S at fortworthtexas, all spelled out, dot gov. Or you can reach me by phone at 817-392-2817. And then I believe uh, Jeff copied the City of Fort Worth website into the chat box for anybody who would like to look at some of those documents. Any other questions? Brendan, I don't see any other questions in the chat box right now. Thank you, sir. There is one more question that comes in the chat. Uh, Madeline would like to know if will easement access be included at Is that uh, easement access for reconstruction or um, which aspect of construction? If and get clarification. And Madeline, you can unmute if you would like. Uh, yes, the easement that is to the south side of my property, uh, there's been a curb put there and it is still an easement. So when vehicles have to get onto that easement for utility purposes, they have to jump the curb, dig into the ground. And um, when I talked uh, back when this project was opened, that they would add that, make sure they added that easement uh, ramp um, and take the curb away so that it did not destroy the ground. And that would be uh, one house off of Elizabeth on Ryan Place Drive on the, uh, the house is on the uh, west side. Okay. 
pull up. We, hi, this is Chad Allen. I spoke to you about this a couple of different times, and yes, we have added that um, pavement at that alley entryway as you requested. That that is in the plans right now. Perfect. Thanks, Chad. Sure. If there's any other questions. Uh, well, thanks everybody who um, attended today. Um, if you do have any questions that uh, you can think of, um, don't hesitate to email me or uh, call me and I'll um, answer them for you. Thanks again, everyone, for joining. Uh, hope you all have a good evening. Thank you.